This is exhibit A. It's a bus stop, but what's missing here? Yeah, a bus stop bench to sit on while you're waiting for the bus. And there's a lot more might like it uh, here in Northwest Arkansas. That's why ORT is hoping to fix that through a federal grant. A bus stop sidewalk that goes nowhere or just a post in the ground. We've got over 400 bus stops in Northwest Arkansas that we really need some help getting them user friendly. The FDA grant is to be awarded to areas with high poverty levels. For Northwest Arkansas, that includes Fayetteville, Springdale, and Rogers. We realize that in the areas of persistent poverty, as set aside by the census, we've probably got about two thirds of our stops within those areas. The grant dollars, if awarded, will go to redesign and hopefully reconstruct bus stops like this. Transportation is one of those key things that persons with disabilities struggle with uh, throughout Northwest Arkansas and actually throughout the nation. And so uh, having a barrier removal, such as uh, having a sidewalk go all the way to the bus stop, uh, it makes it much easier for individuals to access uh, limited uh, bus, ac bus access and gives them freedom to move about uh, and attend doctor's appointments and other appointments that uh, they want to get to. The grant is worth $550,000. The money could also provide canopy designs at high volume bus stops. We could go even as far as uh, engineering and designing full on transfer stations with bath bathrooms customer service uh, centers and vehicle charging stations. All of it with the goal of making getting around Northwest Arkansas a little easier for a lot of people. There are barriers that people with disabilities uh, face daily. Um, and again, a removal of just a simple, um, you know, whether it be a curb, whether that be access um, without grass, whether it be uh, an actual stop where an individual can know that this is actual stop. Um, for someone who's blind uh, to know that they can, uh, this is where they need to be to get on and off uh, public transportation is very important to the folks that we support. The grant application is due in 10 days. A gardener says it could take up to nine months to find out if they are awarded the grant. Live in Springdale, Paul Petit, 4029 News.